What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness, welcome to the channel. So if you guys are new to the channel, uh, it's all about fitness for martial artists, for OGs, right? And if you guys are younger, then you'll benefit as well because uh, you'll learn what not to do so that you don't get injured and, uh, you know, waste a whole bunch of time. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, why your BJJ is shit if you can't box. Now, this is the actually like a part two of a video I made in regards to judo uh, with the same title, but with judo instead of BJJ. So why your judo is shit if you uh, if you can't box, because one of the guys in the community um, wrote in the comment section, uh, told us a little story about how he got into uh, pre fights in one week. And he's a lifelong uh, judo guy. And, but he doesn't know how to box. And it turned out that uh, he couldn't use a Jura at, at all. So that kind of that kind of really sucked. And that kind of um, made him realize that, holy crap, like he needs to have hands, you know, at least the basics. So this video is kind of like a part two, but for BJJ. Now, not a knock on BJJ at all. Uh, I'm a judo guy and I done BJJ as well. I'm predominantly a grappler. So I have a black belt in judo. I have a blue belt in BJJ. Uh, I've been doing martial arts my whole life. Mm, yes. And so, yeah, I'm, I enjoy both of them. Like I'm, I'm very into grappling, right? It's my, it's, it's predominantly what I'm good at. Now with that said, BJJ actually has a lot of, uh, actually has one more thing that you need to be concerned about. So in judo, you have to have uh, striking, right? You have to know how to box so, so that you can actually close the distance, clinch up, and then throw the person to the ground. Now, you know, before you could, yeah, so you could take care of business. Now, the thing with BJJ is that not only do you have to get close to the person, but you have to take them down. And where BJJ uh, is weak is in takedowns for the most part, right? Of course, there's exceptions and there are schools that that, uh, that work very hard on takedowns as well, I imagine. But from what I've seen, a lot of them are, they're so focused on the ground that they forget that they actually have to uh, work on their takedowns as well. And so if you can't strike, and you can't take the person down, it's gonna be so much harder for you to um, defend yourself in a self-defense situation. Also, there was another video I made where the thing with taking someone to the ground as well, like in a self-defense scenario, is that, well, you're on the ground and that's not necessarily where you wanna be uh, in case there's you know other people around, like other uh, multiple attackers or whatnot. Or just his friends, you know, like just gonna soccer kick your face and <laughs> that'll be that. Okay, so wait, let me show you guys. Man, I forgot to play this video. Okay, let me play it now. But this is essentially uh, a fight between Tan Lei, which is uh, predominantly a striker, and uh, Gary Tonin, predominantly a grappler. And you're gonna see here that. Everyone knows what Gary Tonin wants, right? So Tonin here wants to obviously take him to the ground and leg lock his ass because he's um, uh, he's a leg lock specialist. So of course he gets to the leg and he got really close, man. But you know, Tan Lee trained for this and you know kept on hitting, hitting, and look like that's so. Eesh. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be over right there, but he managed to not uh, not tap and defend well enough and then continue with the hammer fist, you know, and at the end of this, essentially he knocks out uh, Tonin, right? But I mean, it was very close. He could have uh, easily, he could have easily lost. But what I'm saying is, it's just an example of how in BJJ, well, maybe not the best example, but it was kind of fun to watch, right? But what I'm saying is that if you do BJJ and you can't, um, you don't have hands, you don't have the basics of, of boxing, like to protect yourself, to get close enough, then after that to take the guy down to the ground, then essentially your BJJ is shit because you just can't use it, you know? So it's not because it's actually shit, it's that you can't use it because you can't even get to the place where you need to be to be able to uh, do your thing. 
So that's it for this video, guys. A uh, very short one. Let me know what you guys think. Um, what are weaknesses do you see in BJJ that uh, um, that you know that I didn't uh, mention? And that's it for this one, man. So if you guys like the video, then hey, share it, and that helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.